You know what else is not a good sign? Forgetting your password. This video is sponsored by LastPass, and it's a great way to remember one password, and they'll do all the hard work of remembering all your other passwords. It's secure, it's easy, and if you click this link, also down in the description, you'll help the channel out, you'll help yourself out, and uh, yeah, get secure. Make it easy with LastPass. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and with quarantine restrictions loosening up in some places, it's only a matter of time before live music is played once more at music festivals and open-air venues. That's why today's video is about the things you need to know to sound your best when playing outside. If you've never done it, you should, and you should definitely listen up. I know the outside world seems scary right now, but we'll get through it together. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, Feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. So you got an outdoor gig, huh? Are you ready? Are you sure? Is it secret? Is it safe? For the purposes of covering our bases, let's assume this list is geared more towards open air venues and less towards a neighborhood cafe or coffee shop. Aside from your usual indoor gig gear, you'll need to account for some differences when dealing with outside audio and stage setup. Number one, dispersion of sound. Without walls to bounce off of, your sound won't be reverberating back at you. This is great for the audience, but a pain in the neck for you and the sound engineer. You are using a sound engineer, aren't you? An experienced sound engineer should be able to maximize your sound for outdoor conditions. Which leads me to, number two, call a professional. Whether you're playing outdoors or indoors, your sound is what people will remember long after your show. Stage outfits and antics are great, but if you sound like crap, people will remember. Ask around and invest wisely. A good sound person will make you sound so much better than doing it yourself. Speaking of sound, number three, turn it up to 11. This is not the time to be quiet. If you don't already have a PA system and speakers, it's worth looking for deals or renting them. A 100 watt speaker will generally cover a 30 foot range, so plan accordingly. If you're lucky enough to land a bigger concert than that, the venue will typically have the sound all covered and figured out for you. Again, check with your sound engineer for what they recommend. Number four, give them something to look at. Remember what I said earlier about stage outfits and antics? They're still important. You want to attract attention for passers-by and give them a show. This goes for lighting as well. If the venue doesn't have adequate stage lighting, you can outfit your stage show for a small investment. Try to balance stationary lighting with some movement, which will keep interest subconsciously riveted to the stage. Of course, there's always a disco ball. Number five, merch it up. Outdoor gigs are a great way to move merch to people that wouldn't normally see or hear you. Even if you're giving stuff away, having a merch table and someone to watch it will be worth your while. Another great way to grow the brand is having your act's name or logo somewhere visible on stage. The bigger, the better. This is by no means a comprehensive list of things you need for a successful outdoor show. Things like location, neighborhood noise restrictions, weather, walk-by traffic, and more affect what will maximize your efforts. Pay attention to what sticks with you at local shows that you go to, and don't be afraid to experiment. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that it was somewhat helpful. If you would like to uh, check out more videos like this, go ahead and click here. If you want to subscribe, please click down here and don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing and we'll see you next time in room six.